Hi everyone, following up with the program that we worked on in our previous video titled Finding the Average of Four Numbers Entered by the User. Notice that the previous output um, has given us 5.0 with no decimals, although the result should be 5.5. Although the average was defined as double, however, if we look at the formula we used to find the average, we find that the nu numerator and this is the numerator, is a type of integer because all numbers, number 1, number 2, and number 3, and 4 were all defined as integer. So that makes the numerator an integer value. 4 is also an integer value. Therefore, the final result will also be an integer value saved in the average variable. To have the average hold a double value, any of the numerator or the denominator needs to be casted to a double value, where casting is the process of converting an object from a similar data type, for example, an integer to double or vice versa. To do that, we change the formula by making either the numerator or denominator a double value. So to make the numerator a double value, we could just cast it by doing this. So this will cast this value into a double. This could also be written as, instead of casting it with the double data type, we could even do make the denominator a double value by putting a dot zero. It makes sense though to do it the other way around since 4 is a whole number. Okay, let's now run our program and see what we get this time. Choosing the value 4 for our first number, 5, 6 and 7 and now we are getting the correct results. Now to be able to print our average value with two decimal places, then we need to use the printf function. The printf function allows us to specify a formatting rule. So to have a formatting rule, we start off with the percentage sign and give the number of decimal places that we would like our double to be, and f for float, but now we will just indicate that this is the value that we wanted to have two decimal places formatted, formatting. Let's now run the program and see how our double value is now formatted to two decimal places. And there we have it. Thank you.